Hello everybody, I am Dele Kame and welcome to another episode of the Bob Gecko FPL show. With me, I have Ayala Kelechi and we hope you enjoy the show. Now that Game Week, game week 1 is behind yeah, us, Ayala, how do you feel? I feel terrible because my village people and Elfrida wow. conspired to make me cap Ivan Tony. Wow. I mean, I definitely set my cap on Bruno Fernandes and when I looked at my team after the game week, I saw Ivan Tony. How? So That's like 18 are you, points missed. Are you... Just leave me alone, please. Just... How many me. points did you get this a weekend? Miserly 63 points. Wow. Okay. I've had at least 83 points. You are way... You are miles away from the top... 2,993rd. You are lost... You are, you are lost on the table. Well, I'm just for now... I'm like that. I'm just going to put it like FPL that. FPL is a marathon, not a sprint, so... Well, do you think... Are we going to see you in top 1,000? Obviously, the, by the next game week. So we should be expecting you? Yeah. I will be expecting you. You should. I'm not there also. I'm, I'm on the fence, but... I'm going yeah, to also be below the 1,000 line. I don't know why you are... Well, you, you are 2,000. It doesn't mean... It's a lot. 1,000 yeah. is a lot. We'll, see. well, the way the FPL has actually gone, um, the difference between 400 and 700 is actually just 4 points. So we'll see. You'd be surprised. Just know the person in your front is also going to be gaining points as you're gaining points. Not like me. Mm. Well, bragging rights. We will see that. We will see about that in game week two. Well, this week, surprisingly, Luke Shaw was the most selected player well, in the entire. It's FPL. not really surprising. Everybody believes or believed that he would um, get a good season this season. And starting with Leeds, people thought maybe a few assists, a clean sheet. But I was really disappointed with just one point. Just one point. The most selected player in the FPL. It was very disappointing. And Terrible. It was just because of a goal from the, from Ailing. And the yellow card. How? Oh yeah, the yellow card. Yes, yes, yes. I, yeah, I, I well. didn't I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. But it, the match looked like as if let's talk about the Man United Leeds mm. game, which I mean was like was the, the star match. highlight of the whole season. Apart from the Brentford week. beating your Arsenal like we told you they would do, but yeah, no other. Uh, well, if I wanted to bring that up today, I would have, but I decided not to. We we don't shy away from the truth here. Uh, no problem. Manchester United versus Leeds. Mm. Manchester United were everywhere. Definitely. Like, Leeds, Leeds it, it looked as if they sat back after the equaliser, which is unlikely. It was Leeds. surprising. It was very surprising. Like, what happened? It was very unlikely. They, they were, they were trailing by one goal. Mm. They got an equalizer. A very good goal, if I may yeah. say. Then considered four goals. Like They Out couldn't the even goals. reply. It was, it was very ah, surprising. Well. And of course, we we'll move on to the player with the most points this game week. The star of the show, Bruno Fernandes. I mean, that's like the headline Kicking of the show. Kicking off with a hat Bruno, trick. Bruno Masterclass. No pen, Bruno. It's it a new season, no penalties. I think the surprising, the best goal for me was the second one that mm. that Ailing tried to clear from the, yes, line. From the I, line. I didn't expect him to shoot that, but I, 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 was, I was so surprised. Like, But hey, it's Bruno. I mean, what are you going to do? Well, we're going to see Fernandez again this weekend, and the Manchester United are up against who? I think they're against uh, Southampton, so that should be interesting as well. Will it be at Old Trafford or St. Mary's? No, that's away. Wow. Are, you, are we getting a repeat of Leeds? It's Would it have that much impact, basically? Yeah, definitely. If Man U scores one goal, you expect that Bruno either assists or scores the goal. I mean, with the highest ranking player in FPL last season, exactly. it is actually very likely. So very you guys expected. might want to follow Ayala's advice. And this is something that affected a lot of people this weekend. Mm. In my opinion, in my own case rather, it was a case of captaining the wrong person this weekend. But I mean, depends Mo, on who Mo Salah. You ask, I mean. He had a total of 2.6 million caps this weekend, like, followed by Bruno Fernandes, of course. Of course. Man, I'm sure a lot of people will be regretting that, that why did that not... Mm. I was regretting... Maybe, I mean, maybe. I mean, it's six extra points, but you would still look those, at those it Those six as extra points were... Key to you, have you? Mm. You would have taken you into the top 1,000. Definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm actually true. sure. I'm, I don't wanna, I'm right. actually very, very sure about we that. We believe you. Man, well... I'm going to Captain Salah again. So now this you're, you're blaming the fact that you're, you're not in the top 1,000 on Mohamed Salah. I'm not Despite blaming, I'm not blaming Mohamed Salah. I expected more. Fair men. For, come on. Liverpool men are against, ungrateful. Liverpool were against Norwich. And he scored one and assisted to what do you want again? I needed one more goal. You're a criminal. So that it would have been balanced. EFCC will be with you shortly. Ah. 
Well, that's it on this segment of the show, and now we're going to go to the shuffle with Elfrida. Mm -hmm.